Awesome Ants, written by Russ Buyok. A long history. You've seen them crawl, marching through the grass and across sidewalks. You may have ever seen them crawling over your kitchen counter. We are talking about ants, tiny, strong, awesome ants. Ants are about 100 million years old. They were crawling around under the dinosaurs. Between then and now, they've changed a lot. Today, over 10,000 species of ants live on every continent except Antarctica. They have been able to survive so long because of their bodies and how they live. Body parts. Like all insects, ants have six legs and three body parts. The back part of their body is called abdomen. This part holds the heart and stomach. Some ants have stingers that they use to protect themselves. Their three part pairs of legs attach to the middle part, called the thorax. Each leg has little hooks that allow ants to climb almost anything. Ants can even hear with their leg by feeling vibrations through the ground. The head contains the brain, two eyes, antennae, and jaws. The jaws open and close like scissors. They are used for cutting and carrying things. Ants can lift more than 20 times of their own weight. Ants also have other mouth parts for chewing, food, and drinking. The two eyes are each made up of many smaller eyes. Even though ants have so many eyes, they can't see very well. Instead, they use their antennae to get around. The antennae are like all-in-one sense machines. Ants use them to taste smell, hear, and communicate with other ants through touching. The long thin antennae are always moving around. Let's talk. Ants communicate with each other in three ways, touch, sound, and smell. Ants touch each other with their antennae in different ways, send different messages. They can also make noises to communicate by rubbing their legs together or on their bodies. The main way ants communicate is by smell. They release chemicals that other ants can smell long after the first ant is gone. Different smells send different messages. For example, a crushed ant releases chemicals that attract other ants. The chemicals also make other ants attack anything nearby that might be a danger. An ant that had found food will lay down a trail of chemicals for other ants to follow. The trail allows them to find food and return to the colony. One big happy family. Ant colonies are filled with activity usually built underground. They have many different rooms which all have different uses. Some rooms store food while others are used to carry young. Colonies even have rooms for ants to relax in. Within the colony, every ant had a job. Worker ants and soldier ants find food to protect the nest. These are usually the ants you see above the ground. Other ants build the nest, take care of the young, and do other jobs. All these ants are female, but I quite is allowed to lay eggs. The queen. In other words, all the ants in a colony are related. The queen. The queen is the leader of the colony. 
the largest of all eggs. Queens are egg-laying machines. Some queens can lay thousands of eggs every day. They can also live longer than most other insects, over 25 years. Yep, ants are awesome. Ants may be small, but they can do awesome things. Thousands of millions of ants working together can build a bridge or float across the river. They can overpower animals hundreds of times their own size for food. So the next time you come across a trail of ants, stop and watch or better yet, follow them. When you see what these little gulls are capital, capable of, you understand just how awesome they are.